I suppose I'll get sugar when I name names. Here, can I get a pen and paper? I'm going to show you the hierarchy of this whole thing. Uh, on top was the boss. Believe it or not, that's how creative they were. Okay, so you have your boss. It's an S. Boss. The, the, the upper, upper class crime criminals get to learn his name. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of hurt that they don't tell me. But, you know, it's cool. I mean, whatever they like. I know who the boss is. I can't tell you anything. Talk to the social media guy about the boss. He would, he, he got pictures of everything. You know that guy was on Instagram too. He was, he asked me once, I swear to God, he asked me what filter is best for a bank robbery. Look closely here. That was approximately what the boss looked like. Boss. I don't know who the boss is. His name is Todd. Todd, Toddson. Oh, I do laundry and I launder money. It's really easy business to launder through because it's coin operated, you get a lot of cash. Uh, but anyway, I, I, okay, so I launder for a couple of criminal organizations, and I can totally give you their information, but this group, the, I want to get them first. They have to go down first, okay? No, that's the, they're the only three I met, okay? Jimmy would drop off the money, okay? Bowel movement would pick it up. And, you know, I get 20% for laundering it, but luckily these guys are bad at math, so... Ghouls, they're not good for anything. Straight from the robbery to drop off the money, having not counted it. We're a proper syndicate, like I said, it's an organization. Not counted it at all. No, I, I, I just assumed that, you know... At all! You know, the, that the laundromat just kind of, like, rinses off some of the monies, like, uh... Criminals, you know, they're the most trustworthy people out there. People might contest that, I know, but y'all are haters, seriously. Like, I, that guy in the laundromat, I trust him like I would trust myself. And I don't count the money because I trust him like a brother. Look, uh, the life of a launderer, a la like a laundry guy, guy does laundry, is not the glamorous thing they pretend that it is in the media. It is slow, boring days, and yes, it's good money, but gunfire was raining down on us, and that's how I got my name too, Jay Drizzle. Because I returned fire ten times what they did to me, you know? It's okay, look, I got into this game because my wife's dad was a laundry guy. He owns most laundries in the area, okay? I was a coin collector. I used to collect coins, but I can't do that because there's a million of them a day. I can't check all of them, so I have to let possibly priceless coins. I think I had one of those Wisconsin misprints. I got shot twice in the heart. And I'm still alive. Tupac couldn't handle that. And guess what happened? It got mixed in with 100,000 other coins I got that day. So you know what? I deserve a little extra. I deserve... Ooh, can I get some sugar? I can never tell which one of them was in charge. And they both fed me the same BS. We're, we're like an essential part of what we do, you know, like, where, where we work for society, we do community service in our own way. About the streets or the war, the one... See, I, I thought this was a brilliant plan to... Uh, take from the rich and give back to the poor. Because you take away from the poor... But look, I want to be one of the 1%, and I could be there too, if I got out of the coin business and got into the money laundering business. Hey man, for all the corporations out there, you know, come on, fuck you. I'm also an entrepreneur. Fuck you. Yeah, Jay Drizzle, in the house, saying fuck you too. I start from the bottom up, you know, I, I ain't part of those big, you know, fat cats out there. You right now, you can go fucking fuck your fucking fuckers off the fucking buildings, you fucking pussies. I charge people for cookies and sure it's like above the market price and everything but that's not the same bro bitch i mean come on